Hi YouTube, just wanted to make a quick video on how to remove the fuel manifold of a 2007 Trailblazer with a 4.2 liter uh, I6 in it. Um, I, I've taken the intake manifold uh, off, of course, which is quite the chore. There are four bolts, one, two, three, four, which hold the fuel rail to the, uh, to the head. And uh, once you have those removed, You'll undo the electrical connector on top of the engine, uh, the electrical connector on top of the engine, which uh, connects the fuel injector to the wiring harness. And uh, that's all you need to do is uh, grab firmly on both sides of, of the fuel rail and kind of rock it out. And uh, I sprayed some PB blaster on there just to make it a little looser. And that's all you gotta do is kind of rock this side and rock this side back and forth and just keep working it back and forth and it will eventually just just kind of pop out as a unit. And then uh, you'll have to get the, the fuel line out of the way. Just forgive me as I, as I move this, I don't want anybody to shoot the video. Uh, we'll take this out and it, it will come out as a unit like this. Um, the electrical connector all the fuel injectors already have this one off and uh, that's how you get the uh, manifold out once you get the fuel manifold out uh, i've got a problem with injector number five this is the plug that was to the rear of the engine near the firewall so this is number six this is number five what there are, are these little clips that uh, you can see right here on uh, number six and i just used a, a little screwdriver and i popped popped this little item off and it came off that took out the, the retaining clip. Okay, I flipped it around now. I removed the clip on the other side. Uh, this is number five. It's flipped around, I'm looking at the other side. What you gotta do is pull up this little green tab. I used, it was a little stiff, I was surprised. You have to pull up this little green tab here. Uh, I used a couple of screwdrivers and was very patient so I didn't break the electrical connector. Uh, you can see it, it's fully down on number four here. I had to uh, pull them up on number five. And when you look from the bottom, um, you notice you can see a little green on a number on number four here. I'm sorry. Um, the little green on number four, you can see that little nipple sticking out there. And on the one that I've taken out, the one I've taken out, you can see that nipple is no longer visible. Once you've got the lock in the up position, if you flip it over so you're looking at the bottom, you can get a screwdriver. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble holding everything still. You can get a screwdriver and come in from the bottom and move that little portion to the side and it will actually pop the connector right off. Once you've got the little retaining clip removed and once you've got the electrical connector out, the fuel injector, the fuel injector is just sitting, is just sitting in the uh, in the manifold. And I had to twist it and give it a pretty good pull. And you know, I was surprised how hard I had to pull it out, but I actually uh, got it out with no extra tools. Uh, some people say if you, you twist it, uh, it helps. So I rocked it back and forth quite a bit, gave it quite a bit of force, and it just popped out. So there's looks like there's two uh, washers, a red one and a, a blue one, which goes in the rail. The red towards the engine side, and the blue towards the rail side. I was troubleshooting a P0205 code, which is uh, communications loss to the uh, number five injector. So um, since this thing is so difficult to get to, considering you got to take off the intake manifold and, and everything you need to take off this stupid engine, uh, what I did is I got a multimeter and um, I stuck a piece of, of non-stranded uh, fiber into the connector to uh, a piece of wire so I can extend it. And then I, I measured using the, an ohmmeter a continuity tester to make sure there's connectivity between both both ports and the electrical connector for number five and to the appropriate pin on the connector. This is the connector that goes over the valve cover towards the back of the engine on top of the engine. And I verified I had connectivity uh, between uh, both contacts and the connector. So I have the fuel injector out. The next dilemma is, you know, I measured a resistance. I get 16.5 ohms on a digital um, gauge. Uh, I have continuity, but I'm not quite sure what the ohm, uh, what the amount of resistance should be. One of the set I saw said 15.9 ohms, 
and I'm not quite sure what the right solution should be. The best practice seems to be is uh, take all the fuel injectors out, measure all the ohm, the resistance, not ohmage, <laughs> measure all the resistance, and to make sure everything is um, at the appropriate uh, resistance. Okay, after I got all my work done, I uh, uh, figured out, I think, a better way if I had to do this again. Um, you know, considering that the uh, fuel injector rail is way beneath the intake manifold, which is a son of a gun to take off, uh, what I would have done, I think, if I had to do it again is I would have unplugged the connector on top of the engine, on top of the uh, right valve cover, the driver's side valve cover. And this is the, the picture of the end of that connector, and that's the connector that goes directly to the fuel rail and all the fuel injectors. So instead of taking everything apart, trying to measure resistance, uh, I actually measured number five myself by taking it off in number four. But if I had to do it again, I, I would pop this off, and I would put uh, one lead of my multimeter for resistance uh, on the upper right hand corner on the common there and that's common to all the injectors then i would have touched injector number one pin and measured the uh resistance number two pin number three number four number five and number six so while i measured four and five uh directly i did the rest uh using the uh the plug connector here so um injector one was 11.9 uh injector two was 11.8 injector three was 11.7 Moving to the right-hand side, injector 4 was 11.8. Injector 5, which is giving my me my PO205 error, is actually out of spec, it looks like. It's at 12.3, and the others are centered around 11.8, and injector 6 is 11.9. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced that there's something wrong with the uh, number 5 injector. And it looks like the average for a 2007 Trailblazer L6 is 11.8 ohms.